Evening guys, same process ever, just raise your hands, we'll come to as many of you as we can. Start with Simon, please. Uh, Pep, I presume you didn't want any other player running down on the Brentford goal other than Erling Haaland, you never had any doubt that he was going to score a goal. Yeah, definitely. If I have to choose one, I prefer to choose this one, yeah. I mean, coming into tonight, everybody had spoken about Erling, you had to speak about him. Did you get the sense that he was determined to make an impact? When I was young, one friend of mine told me never ever, as a as a person, I was not a journalist, I'm not and I will not be. So tell me, top scorer, strikers, score a lot of goals, don't criticize him. Because he will shout your mouth. So that's for sure. So sooner or later, it's always he's there. So he came for two mount. He had an incredible tough week last week. He lost his his grandmother. And, and it's not easy for a human being. But uh, in the scores, he's not in his best shape, but it's normal. So he's so tall to mount. But in this type of games, like Brentford is always so really, really difficult for us because you can break maybe in transition, like Liverpool has done the last game, but uh, against us, that there are not the spaces. Uh, last season, we lost six points against them. This season, we we're fortunately, we can beat them both. It's a so difficult, complicated team because apart defend well, they have every every since the kickoff, kickoff throwings, free kicks, corners, long balls for the keeper is a threat. Always you have the feeling they cannot score a goal. And uh, <coughs> and but we were there. We we're stable. We make a better first half than the second. We found the goal and yeah, finally we can break and important three points for us. Sam. Okay. First of all, <coughs> what, what's wrong with being a journalist? For me? Yeah, what's wrong with being a journalist? Oh, I'm a manager. Okay. My life is better than yours, so... <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's why I want to be manager, <laughs> I don't want to be journalist. <laughs> Absolutely. How how we be against? So the biggest compliments all the time you say to me? How we be against you? No, absolutely. It's not personal, except especially with you, okay. Mr. Lee. So. Thanks. So, um, so in terms of the game, it seemed like... The crowd were impatient. It seemed like the players were impatient. There was a time when they wanted Edison to kick it forward. You were saying, calm down. It just seemed like nothing seemed to be at the right rhythm. I know you talk a lot about rhythm and playing at the right tempo. Was that the case? Tonight? No, no, like no, I'm not agree. I'm not agree with that. We're playing the crowd at the right, right tempo, and of course we can do it, but uh, there is one side that is, that there is a, an hour build up, like me, men to men, and I have to, exactly choose the right moment because when you lose the ball they can punish you and after when the defensive deep I would love to make a transition and two passes score a goal because I have the answers for the players and the other one but we are not built for that Bernardo has not the run to run 45 meters and sometimes <laughs> you have to be another another way I understand the fans I would love to to score four goals and after a few minutes but sometimes you need the process. When we can run, like we did it in the goal, in seven actions we can run, but in other situations we have to wait. We have to wait to be patient. Is there an element in terms of being patient? Did you have to tell the players at half time the crowd might want a certain thing, but we need to play our own? Rhythm? Listen, we have to talk that the first half we need, in the half time, is for we have the 2 3 0 up. So, so two players in the line, with the lines we have a shoot, and we then concede. Yeah, we want free kick with Tony. But a part of that didn't do anything. We can see just one corner is so important as the teams. The only regret I have is that the score a goal. I don't know what happened. We were so nervous. Immediately Ruben lose the ball, John lose the ball, Bernardo lose the ball, and after we make a number no anxious. But after we make a long, long possessions, and uh, yeah, we finish the game like uh, yeah, we'll deserve it. So, but it's so difficult. I give a lot of credit to Brentford because apart of being good. They had the ability with a master player, so I never seen a player with a quality like Tony that had the ability and every ball they win it. But it's not winning for winning. They they win it passing the ball for the mate and give an extra pass. And he's a, a fantastic player that help us, you know. When you link with him, you have to defend. If you don't win that ball, you're going to defend deeper. So <coughs> Brentford maybe didn't get this season the result they get the previous season, but the team is there. So he's able to go to walls and win. So it is, I know how difficult it is. It's a, a fantastic team, but the way they play is a fantastic team. Paul? Pep, you spoke <coughs> about how difficult a week it's been for, for Erling. Did you have to speak to him yourself, or did, did the 
his teammates sort of rally around him? No, that? we spoke about the moment and uh, I realized a little bit days later because he didn't say anything about the pass away from his grandmother. And we talk about how he feel and of course for his father. And uh, yeah, but in this type of game, especially Brentford, you need Erling. Another team in space, <laughs> you can play maybe with a typical striker, but today we cannot use Kevin because half niggles in the, in his hamstring position. He, I didn't want to take any absolute risk about on him. But this type of games, the second goal, for example, in uh, in Brentford is an assist from Kevin. And you need this type of players, and but I would say John John and Manu were amazing today, the game they play. Amazing. Joe? <coughs> I was going to ask about Kevin. Is he okay? Is that a no, it's okay. It's okay. It's just more caution and prevention that, uh, that I think. But he didn't feel comfortable. The doctor says it's a little risk and I said, okay. After five months off, we didn't take any, any risk about that over him. Chap? One tonight, Drew at the weekend. Can you see many differences between how those two games played out, or was it just the fact that well, we played really good? First half against Chelsea, they were better. Not better. They had more chances. We could see it. we were not in the right pace. But the second half was amazing, and today the first half was better. But we compete really good both games. So I'm in love with this team, with these players. What can I say? I'm, it's difficult for me to judge differently for many reasons. So. They know how difficult it is that game and it's still there. Today is a Champions League game. All around the world don't see, except you. No one person in England watch the game. I'm pretty sure won uh, Inter Madrid or or PSV against Borussia Dortmund. And, you know, gaming hand, no teams in Premier League playing, night. So and it's still the team and our people, you know. We appreciate because, again, the, the crowd was full. And the moment we saw for were behind us, so... I had the feeling that every time we are here in our crowd and knowing now that it's at the end of the season now, the next games here will be with, uh, I think, with United, Copenhagen and Arsenal, the next games here. So I'm pretty sure they will be there to make the contribution that we need. <laughs> uh, do you remember what are you shouting at the players before Bernardo Silva take the free kick in the second half? Um, for me, Which one? Like Sorry. You were you were shouting at the players before Bernardo Silva take the taking the uh, free kick in the second half. No, I and want a, a next a, a short pass to the cross, not cross the rack. Juliano was too wide, I said more central, like and in that moment. There some confusion there. Before. And in that moment, but it happened. They play, it happened. Not a problem. <coughs> Just here. Hi, Pep. Um, in your program notes, you said that Brentford are the best you've ever seen from set pieces. Yeah. Um, today, how well do you think your team did in limiting the number of set pieces that Brentford had? But also, how well were they? Yeah, it was a free kick is in the middle, but not corners, just one at the end. I think so, maybe two, I don't know, some free kicks. We defend really well. So we spoke, every situation, free kicks, corners. If we defend well, we have to celebrate as a, as a goal. Like you scored a goal because they are incredible threat in every 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 department. I never never see a team play <coughs> and create so many dangerous situations like Brentford in my life. I never see a team like like them. Never. Every corner freak is an admir. But the guys, the back four and Erling, Rodri, of course the smart from <coughs> from Bernardo help us a lot to defend these kind of situations. Last couple of guys just there. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hi, Pep. Just on a similar note to that, I know you've just used the word like Brentford are very difficult to play against. So what is it specifically that means they are so hard to come up against every no time spaces. you play? They are able to make man to man. Every time you go by, they push up and they're so aggressive. They provoke to make frontal balls. They are aggressive. And when defend deep, there's no space. No space. Stoney and Wissa and after Mopai is close to the back three, is with Rodri or in front of Rodri. So, <coughs> and they allow you to go here, go here, go here. And when you cross, they have eight players with the one 90 meters, like they defend pretty well. And when they run in the ball, they had the ability to make one or two passes, contact with, the, with Tony, and after run with the wing backs and the other one. And when you let them play, like happened the last 10, 15 minutes, they play really good. They have a quality, they link inside, <coughs> and they play good. 
It's an incredible. So the, the work from Frank in there is these years when it was in championship, I didn't know promoted and after being promoted and uh, have done it is is really good. So maybe you can break them if you let them to play and after run. Not maybe you can do it, but you want to attack and do you want to attack, drop them and find the spaces. It's so difficult. So difficult. Finish with Dave, please, guys. I bet. Um, you celebrated Erling's goal by kicking the drinks cooler box. I won a water and uh, it was not that. Is your, foot, is your foot okay after that? Sorry? Is your foot okay yeah. after that? Perfect. No injury? Not at all. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.